Woman, Life and Freedom Movement, that started in mid-September 2022, due to the death of Masa Amini, in the hands of Islamic Republic Morality Police, in Iran, for not wearing proper hijab. This movement, that started by Women for Women in Iran, soon within days became a global movement, with its unique motto of, Woman, Life, and Freedom, which not only resonated with Iranian women, but also to all women in the Middle East, and many globally. The Peaceful Young Women Movement, which quickly gained also support from many Iranian men, from all sorts of background, it started shaking Islamic Republic authoritarian power, which questioned their legitimacy, and as Islamic Republic panicked, to lose control and, in a miscalculation, ordered violence crackdown on demonstration, it made even the movement stronger, motivated, united, and more determined, in their objectives, as well gained support from wider community locally, nationally, and globally. Amazingly, within days, the movement very creatively reshaped itself, from single issue to multi issues, and covered all sorts of problems such as economy, environmental, human rights, discrimination, corruption, and other problems. The uniqueness of this movement, is the way it operates, and it adjusts itself to the situation, which has not only surprised the Islamic Republic authoritarian regime, but also the world. Of course, Islamic Republic has always blames Israel, USA, and UK, for being behind this movement, not knowing that even right now all those agencies, are observing and investigating to find out what is going on. As no one can take the credit for being behind this creative and amazing movement, which to my knowledge not only is unique in Iran, and the Middle East, but also globally. Iranian people, have tried to sort the problems peacefully in many years. However Islamic Republic, has shown that they are not open to any talk and do not acknowledge Iranians' wishes and rights. And now Iranians are angrier and changing strategy. And you can see that, in the messages which come out from Iran. I believe Iranians are ready to face Islamic Republic with the only language they understand. Islamic Republic had all the chances to change, but they continued to kill Iranian people in the streets of Iran, who wished for free dialogue, and referendum. So, I believe the game is changing, and soon Islamic Republic will face the music, and the anger of all Iranian tougher in a more forceful way. And I believe no army in the world, can stand in front of an angry nation who has nothing to lose and everything to gain. Honestly, as I said, I think Islamic Republic has come to its end, and I repeat no army in the world can stand in front of an angry nation, who has nothing to lose and everything to gain. Probably Islamic fundamentalists, nightmare has come true. The souls of, Archbot Pantia, and Grand Admiral Artemisia, have come back, and Iranian women find their place again, and they are angry and leading, and that was what Islamist has tried to prevent for 1000 years. Cyrus the Great, has been credited to free Babylonia, but historians know that it was Archbot Pantia, who was commander of the Persian immortal army. Recently, I heard from some of my American friends that they are worried, that Biden may support Islamic Republic, and try to save it. I have to say now, 
If Biden or Putin even sends their armies to save Islamic Republic, it won't help, as long as Iranians stand together, and men globally realize by being behind women and support them, it will not reduce their manhood. This is the change, that many have been talking about, and waiting for. And it is not only about Iran anymore, but also a global movement started in Iran by Women for Women. Women Empowering Women In my opinion, not only this movement will change Iran, and Middle East, geopolitics, but also will have a major effect, on the way we look at global leadership, management, trade, environment, organization, human rights, and everything else even here in the West. Remember, Western women and minorities group, have progressed in their fight for equality, diversity, and inclusion, but even here, it is still not an equal society. Saying that you believe in equality, diversity, and inclusion, is not enough, you must have internal belief in it. I know even many politicians, and leaders, right here in the West who do not believe in equality, diversity, and inclusion. Of course, they are going to say that they do, if you ask them. But look at those organizational structures, and the pay gap in our society. Can you really say it is equal? That is probably why this movement, so quickly has become a global movement. And it is not only questioning the actions of Islamic Republic government anymore, but it has also started to question the actions of many governments internationally. As you could see the paradox, the French government had, in the way they tried to control the demonstration in Paris, in support of this movement. As they may were pleased that this demonstration had created big problems for Islamic Republic, but at the same time, as they have also big problems with discrimination in France, they were worried that this movement may create internal problem, if it gets bigger in France. But the reality is that women are here now, in the international political arena, as a major powerhouse, stronger than ever, and united beyond the national borders. And not only Islamic Republic can ignore them, nor the international community anymore. As this movement shows, they are educated, mobile, dynamic, creative, and probably much more strategic, than any other group. And have something to say, not only about women's issues, but everything, as this new young generation of women leaders, has gone a step ahead from all earlier feminist movements, which their focus was only women's issues. The reality in Iran and the woman, life and freedom movement, is that Islamic Republic forces randomly killing Iranians, who showed support for woman, life and freedom movement, in the streets of Sanandaj and other cities. This is not just something that is happening now, the systematic killing and discrimination of Iranians, with different ethnical backgrounds, religion minorities, women, political views and anybody who criticize the regime has been going on the last 43 years. Iranians from all sorts of political background, or ethnical groups, has been telling the world, about this systematic killing, and discrimination, in many years, but the Islamic Republic propaganda machine, and lobby groups, with the all the money they spend in US, and EU, to buy political and media supports, has managed to create a campaign of misinformation, and mislead the world. Further there is a big difference between the 2009 and 2022 movement, in Iran. 2009 was a political movement, between the two political rival groups in Islamic Republic to gain power. 2022 is a humanitarian movement, to help people. Women helping women. Mothers helping mothers. Sister helping sisters, and so on. And those young people, are fighting for justice, and their rights, not for power. But they are determined on their objectives, 
And don't forget that Iranian people are not scared of death, Islamic Republic men, forgot that death for freedom, justice, country, and people, is glory for Iranians. If they were in the front line during the war, they would remember it. I am sorry to see, many politicians still calculating, to see if it is financially beneficial, to be on the side of humanity, or is it better to be on the side of status quo, and keep their power and money. This is not only about that Islamic Republic anymore. It is about the internal change in all of us, and our values, even here in the West. Are we able to call ourselves human? And see all those things and do nothing? This is not a political question, nor religion. Are you a human? کشتار کار بسیج و پاسدار نه به حکم اعدام نه 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 به آغازاده که حاصل فساده نه به کل نظام نه 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 به پوشش به زور نه به هرچه سانسور نه به خودکامه ها نه 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 به ننگ کشور نه به شخص رهبر نه به امامه ها نه نه I'm an American woman living in the United States of America I'm a United States citizen and I have a question for my government I have a question for the United States government You have your hands in Iran You have sanctions in Iran. You have deals for oil in Iran. You have uh, restrictions on nuclear weapons in Iran. And I'm not going to assume that I know everything about government, but I want to know this. Why aren't you helping the citizens against this evil regime in Iran? Why aren't you helping them? Is your only investment in them their oil? These human rights atrocities were happening before these protests started and no one knew outside of Iran because it was censored. Their government shut them down. They didn't have internet access. They couldn't share. And when they did share, they were murdered. But you know who knew? You knew. The United States, there's no way you're going to tell me that the United States government did not know how evil these people are and what they're doing to their citizens. So these women and men are saying, help us. They're saying it out loud. They're going online. They're going on the internet and they're telling you, please help us. Why aren't you helping them? You've sanctioned them. Your hands are in this, which means if you do nothing, your hands are bloody because you're involved. You're involved because you are already involved. So even if you don't kill any protesters, you're still going to have bloody hands. And so as a citizen, I'd like to know to my government, the United States government, why aren't you helping them? I'm getting a lot of Americans asking me the same question. What can we do to help Iran except for posting? I do, what can we do? What can we do? What, what can we even do? Your representatives work for you. Do you not remember you put them in a job? Call them. Ask them what they're doing. The people who spend the military budget of this country are your employee. They're in a job because you put them there. Make them remember it. Call them. Ask them why the people that run this regime who are exterminating civilians as we speak in Sanadaj, Sanandaj Iran right now is experiencing a genocide. Ask them why those people have assets in the United States. Why are the men who are firing into residential homes with machine guns and military artillery? Why do they have families who are gallivanting around this country? Why do they have bank accounts while their people starve and bleed in the street? Ask them, go call them, they work for you. That is a luxury Iranians don't have. Go, do now, go.